This is my friend's bike that he just built. I've spent most of a good chunk of the winter building it, and I helped him a little bit on it. And we're out here going to take it out for its for its first cruise. So I'm going to have him tell you a little bit about it. So what we got here is a uh, they have a couple of these frames. Uh, this is a 47 Western Flyer, and uh, got a, a retro seat for it. Uh, everything. Is, the, the frame, uh, the uh, fenders, they're all original. Uh, I got a Mega Monarch front fork on it, so that's a Mega one. Uh, I put also uh, a drop piece right in here so the mechanism can work. I know a lot of, a lot of people are not getting that one right. Um, there's a torque converter here, and this is all of the uh, jack shaft assemblies here. Uh, cut out um, in the fender, put in some rolled uh, brake line, works really good. Cemented in with some JB weld. Um, at least at this point, uh, exhaust, a flex one inch exhaust seems to work pretty good at this point. Um, just with a mount at the back of the fender here. So that's, uh, that's pretty much it. Um, and then uh, how about that sprocket you've got there? Now that's a nice looking sprocket. That's a hub mounted sprocket. Uh, which I think is a really nice feature. Keeps everything nice and centered, not a rag mount. Um, so that's a good thing. And uh, of course I built my own uh, engine mount here and everything is uh, done on a rotatable uh, piece of stock here. You can see that it's uh, cut out at three quarters of an inch. And then I split the piece of aluminum and then you run your bolts through it so that everything registers back together. You put it on a pivot mount so it'll find every angle you could possibly think of in the frame. And it's also good to split this too because uh, if it needs to be spread or add spacers, in which case I did add a spacer in behind here just to get the motor mount um, exactly where you need it. That, that's pretty much it. This is all homemade here. I find that if you don't use the old uh, forged um, cranks, the newer um, Japanese or Chinese cranks, you can cut down and re-weld back on so you can get this exactly where you want it. And then uh, also Easy Motorbike has uh, these extensions you can buy. So that's a really good feature. Um, the headlights in 1914 S&M, uh, what you'd find on a period correct Harley in its day. So uh, yeah, that's, that's about it. Well then, how about now that you're now your engine here? You've got a real Honda on here. Yeah. And it's a 120 GC. Or GX. GX, 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 yes. And then you've also got something else done here to the carburetor. You've got a uh, remote uh, tunable carburetor that comes out over here. So, so you, you can, can adjust, adjust your main metering. Very yeah. nice. And then now your wheels. Now they're a lot heavier duty than a regular bike wheel. Those are Worksman wheels uh, with a CB110 Shimano uh, rear hub. Really nice hub. Nice and stealthy. Uh, same with the front. The front one happens to be black and <laughs> the back one has to be uh, uh, <coughs> chromed, but uh, that can be painted, I suppose. And you've so. got the drum brake up front there, I see. Yes. So, uh, very nice. And then, uh, well, let's see. I guess it's time to fire it up and see how it drives. I think you need to hold the throttle. Let me hold the throttle up while you crank it. Well, I don't want this thing to take off on me. No. Might not be tuned quite right, yeah. 